once you get your data, uh, it's time to start analyzing it. So um, I'm going to jump past opening a spreadsheet. I'm going to assume you guys know how to do that. Um, basically, in, in your Gmail accounts through Miami, you can go into Google Sheets. Um, you're always going to want to label your columns and rows. You're going to add your data, and then you're going to do basic statistics. So I'm going to start off with that. Again, I'm going to build up. So if you're really antsy, just hold with me. <laughs> Um, for some more things. So I'm going to switch over here so you guys can see this spreadsheet um, that I shared with you all. Um, and again, you can make file. If you're in here and you want to have your own copy, you can go to file, make a copy, just like that. Um, so you can see here there's two tabs. One data set we're going to look at is the bird collisions at the bottom and then cactus height. We're going to talk about that some more. Um, so here you have at the top A, B, C, D, those are your columns. On the numbers going down here, these are your rows, okay? So you're gonna label your columns, make it very clear for you and anyone you're collaborating with. In this case, you've got two columns for the number of bird collisions on different observation dates and on buildings that are, we'll just say, are more safe glass, however that was determined, and non-safe glass building. Um, so you monitor the two of those um, types of buildings over four time periods and you recorded this is the number of birds you found dead it's kind of morbid um, at the base of the building on the mornings you went out um, that you found in the bushes there and such that indicate collisions okay so um, here's your data set you're just starting out now just in terms of terminology this is just like battleship when you're talking about a cell if you were talking to a collaborator, you say, oh, look, in cell B4, okay, you go down B to four, um, and there it is. We have a value of eight, okay? So that's the way, just the general orientation to the spreadsheet. So let's go through those des descriptive stats in there. So we're gonna put in a sum, an average, and minimum value, and a maximum. So there's different ways you can do sum. Um, one is you can come over here to this three dots um, and click more, and then you'll see this little sum function. Oh, or actually, yeah, this little uh, Latin sigma letter. Click that, and it's going to show you typical um, formulas. So sum is right there at the top. You click it. And now it's really asking you just to highlight the data area where you want to sum it. So you're just going to highlight that, hit enter, and there you have your sum. Now instead of having to do that same formula over here, you can just click this tiny little box at the bottom, drag it over, and it has moved the formula over. And you'll see that both of these data sets have a sum of 12, which is by design by me because I want to make a point. Um, about the limitations of sums and means in data sets. Um, but before we get into that, let's just go into average. So instead of, we could go here again and go to average, but you could also go here and you can use the equal. You can type equals, start to type average, and you'll see there's several different average formulas. Um, so I'm just going to go with the basic average formula, which is right there, numerical average value in a data set, ignoring text. That's, that's nice to know. So if you had put in like, could not collect data on one of those dates, it would tr ignore that and still get the average of the other three um, time periods. So you hit that, it wants to, you to tell you where it's grabbing the data from. You highlight that area by clicking and dragging and close out the parentheses, hit it and you have an average of three. I think you guys are with me that th it's gonna be an average of three for both of these data sets and this because the sum is the same, so the average is the same. So now we'll just do real quick, minimum. Grab it, close it, and the minimum value clearly is zero for that one. Go over here, the minimum value for this one is two. Like that and close it out. And now you've got your 
essentially your range and your average in the data set. Um, so again, super basic. I just want to get you all up to speed on feeling comfortable in a spreadsheet because stats really triggers a lot of a sense of imposter syndrome in many people, which is a feeling that you do not belong. You cannot do this. And honestly, stats are not that hard. This is not trigonometry. This is not calculus. I mean, they sometimes derive and, and get into those principles, but for the most part, I have found statistics to be much easier than many other areas of math. Um, so I want to point that, I just want to point out one more thing. In the very bottom right of your spreadsheet, you'll see this little quick, um, and if you highlight any area and then you go and click on that in the bottom, it gives you a nice summary of whatever data you're highlighting. So like here, it's showing you the sum is 12, the average is three, the minimum is two, the max is four. It's everything we just calculated. It's just there at the bottom always. And you can decide like, you know what, I want it to show me count, and then it's gonna show you by default count. So that's another, always in spreadsheets, there's all these different ways you can get at the data, okay? So just wanted you guys to be aware of that. Um, great, okay, so. Um, what I want to do is go back to the presentation and uh, if you guys actually, <clears throat> I see you guys putting in some, some uh, uh, questions there. If you guys feel free to answer to each other as well, um, if you want, because I may not always be able to look at it. Um, and you can always look back at this, this recording as well to see how things were done. Um, but I will try and again answer those questions and this is being recorded. Um, so we have gotten into a spreadsheet. Hopefully you're feeling good. Labeling columns, rows, adding data, adding some basic stats. Okay, all good. Check. We are cruising along.